Are you sure about that? Huh? Are you sure? Do you doubt me now? Of course I am sure. I will be back soon. How long should I wait? How long? I will see you as soon as we come back. We have to be on our way now. They are waiting. Um, all right, meetings. Mm. You have a nice time. <laughs> Please bring her back to me. We will. We'll bring her back. <laughs> Our first encounter. Hmm. Looks like they will carry the news well. You still need to learn the people. The people of you do are different from our people. But we both share the same ancestral roots. You know what, Sibanusi? What? Go back to Abanabo. Tell the king that the joint is set. You stay back. Your work here is finished. When you are needed again, you will be called upon. Do you mind telling me what all this arrangement is for? What's going on? You do not want me to repeat myself, do you? Does any one of you know her? I have never seen her all my life. She knows so. What? Do you know that woman? I'll be shaking like this if I do. Oh, but, but the question is, why do we feel this way about seeing her? I mean, we meet strangers every day. Strangers? In our kingdom? Strangers that construct stores in the middle of nowhere? Anyway, um, she might be a stranger just to us. Others might know her, so let us go. We don't want to be late. There is something strange about her. Very strange. Something very strange. Too strange. Hey. Ubaku, why are you bothered? Why are you not? I'm only curious. I'm not bothered. Eh? Yeah. Mm. Their new king died. 
and now Ugwabana but disguises as a normal woman and moves into their kingdom. Are you insinuating that our king has a hand in the death of their king? Do you have alternative belief? Ezen Bajaka might be ambitious, but there are certain things he will never do. I may not know what is up to with Ugwabana, but only time will tell. I'm not surprised that none of you have seen her. The stall is on the outskirts of the kingdom, towards Oninyong. Yes. And what is so special about this woman? We have not seen her before. And we were wondering if our people have seen someone like her. <laughs> I wonder. People visit this kingdom every day, every other day. Some come here to do businesses. Some come to stay and some come to visit. But Mama, I... we already have enough problems. So I don't need to look for a woman I have no business with. <laughs> My daughter, we have enough issue at hand that we are supposed to go after. And forget about this woman and whatever she may be. Oh? Like every other woman. But, Papa, there is certainly something strange about her. Mm. You saw how you passed her? Mm -hmm. And you've already got this opinion about her? I don't really know. But, Papa, there was, there was this aura around her. There was this aura that surrounded her and the entire place. Especially when she turned towards us. My friends equally noticed though. And so we we concluded that there might be something evil about her. the look of things, Papa. I believe she is new. And the fact that she don't know her worries me. Amogi, every stranger that enters this kingdom must report to the king. We don't have a king. So anybody can move in at any time. I see. Oh, gods of our land. May the gods of our land save us from impending evil. Evil that may enter our land, especially in this state of empty throne. Hey! Oh! Why are you bothered about this woman? I am surprised you left the comfort of your heart to come and discuss this. I understand if you're not worried. Of course, things like this will not worry me. We all know what our land is passing through. Having no ruler is not ideal for any kingdom. Mr. Okeke, don't you think that this is the most sensitive time for this kingdom? In what terms? 
Good. I almost pushed away this issue when my daughter told me of it. But after giving it a second thought, I came to realize that the kingdom at this time is open to attract all sorts of people, good, bad, Since you think this calls for concern, what do you suggest we do? Okay, be fast, be fast. Ah. Oh, what is the meaning of this, Sindoka? Meaning of what exactly? What are you people doing here? Eating, obviously. What are you eating? Even the blind man can see we are eating. Obviously, you are eating. The question is food prepared by me. Prepared by me. Um, please, oh. okay then. Serve them some soup. Their tongues need to experience what our tongues are enjoying. The bail is on me. Serve them. Mm. I greet you, men of Hidu. Please, sit. I have something you will like. Hold on. We have not come here to eat. You did not? No sensible married man eats outside his home. Not from a stranger at least. We heard about a certain strange woman building a hut on our land. Little did we know that she was planning to feed our people. Who knows? Someone must have whispered to the wind that famine is one of the problems our land suffers. Men of Idu, please. I mean well. Iduland was good to me and my people in the past. I am not here to cause trouble. I am here to live amongst the people my heart accepts. Who are you? And where are you coming from? What is your mission here? Hmm. The beautiful Ugabanapa. The amazing beauty of my land. The only maiden that has a goddess. <laughs> you have everything you need. For you are a maiden who is an embodiment of not only beauty, but an embodiment of power. <laughs> it gladdens my heart when you make such statements. It shows how much you trust in me and my powers. Do I smell fear in you? Not exactly. I may be able to change my attires, but what if someone recognizes me? You can take my word on that. Nobody will. Ever since Idu people separated from our people, they have kept unto themselves, for they kept seeing us as their enemies. And to the best of my knowledge, you have not had any physical interaction, any physical encounter with anybody from Edu, have you? No. So you stick to the plan. On your own, create a story, an authentic story, to handle your background, where you come from. I want you to understand that you are in this mission. I don't need to remind you the importance of the mission. 
this may be the last opportunity we have. I don't want you to ruin this process. If this is going to be the last good deed I will do, then I promise with my life. Please, I can see you. Answering this question might take the whole day. Please, beautiful one, before you answer those questions, let me some submersion. Nduka, I can see you have lost your senses. Nduka, no more word from you or you get out of this place. And you, I don't know if you will answer these questions today or not. I just remembered what life was like growing up as a child about 20 years ago. My name is Ogosi, popularly known as Okite. Because of my excellent dishes, I prepare for men of all ages. I am from Iwetiti. I know you are wondering what I came all the way from Iwetiti to do here. Well, to cut the long story short, my family took refuge here during the fight between my people and Nkano warriors. I grew up here because we remained here after the fight. You grew up here in Edu? How come we don't know you? Why are you embarrassing the woman that came to cook the kind of bitter leaf soup we've never eaten in this land? Before. Eh? Now listen, Ndoka. If you know what is good for you, shh. Shut up your mouth. I will not shut up. Because now I know that the others are missing something. What? How many villages do we have here in Idu? 17. Are you supposed to know everybody in Idu? Why are we embarrassing this woman? Because you don't know her means that you embarrass her. Must you know everybody in Idu? Uh, uh, noble men of Idu, I know I'm supposed to show myself to the king immediately I arrived. But I couldn't because I heard about the unfortunate situation. Did we hear? When did we start judging people in a hurry here in Idu? Eh? Please, um, Nikita, serve me some soup before my tongue goes to sleep. Please, my elders, please, do not misunderstand my mission here. Like I said earlier, I came in peace. I am an innocent woman from Iwetiti. Please accept me. Anyway, my offer still remains valid. Hmm? Serve them some soup. I'm okay. All I'm saying is that she could be harmless. I'm not saying she is harmful. All I'm saying is that there is something discomforting about her. I'm okay. You just saw this woman once. So? It's not enough reason for you to jump into conclusion. Yes. Whatever. You see, as usual, we are thinking too much. All right, forget about the woman, okay? Let me help you come, please. Would you mozo? Mother Ganaya. Is she okay, okay? Please, don't be angry. I want to ask you people a very small question. Hmm? Since you started eating Onubu soup in your life, have you ever tasted Onubu soup that, that, tasted, that is tasting like this? Mm. This is wonderful. Undoka. Undoka. This is different. <laughs> Undoka. 
I have never in my life tasted Onubu soup like this. Wagam, <laughs> Ijiye. I hope the meal is tasty. Oh, you This is different. I don't have anything to say now. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. I don't understand. You were supposed to find out about her. And we did. And? What about the food? I'm okay, you ask too many questions. And if I must answer all your questions, she is a cook. Have you heard it? She simply showed her appreciation to us by giving us Appreciation? Some, uh, uh, appreciation. For what exactly? Mama, can you imagine? I'm okay. Don't add to his worries. The affairs of this kingdom are already weighing him down. Papiaka, how am I adding to the problem? You think it's normal for a woman, a strange one at that, a strange woman to commercially cook for people? There's always a first time. I'm okay. There's always a first time. Let us maintain this serenity that is needed for five years of money in Igwe Nzana Sanya. Biko! I came because I need your guidance. I am always with you. What do you want? As far as I know, the important men of Idu have welcomed me. I know crossing the first hurdle was made easy by you. What do you want? I understand that Idu Kingdom is blessed with a powerful seer. I fear that I might have an unpleasant encounter with him. Fear not. One with me has no reason to be afraid. I will do what ill you ask of me. I want to have powers over him. I want to control the things he sees about me. You will have it. Listen. You must not run back here again. You don't need to create any suspicion with your absence. I just needed to see you urgently. Just call on me at any time and any way, and I shall be with you. Now, let's talk about the sea. Why should I? Listen, woman. Whatever it is you have in there, take it back with you. Because I would not touch it, let alone eat it. You are rejecting my gift? That old saying. 
do not accept gifts from strangers. But I am no longer a stranger to you. We've been talking for a while now. And that does not change anything. I hear you are the one they call Okite. That has been cooking for all the men of Idu Kingdom. I have also been made to understand that your bitter leaf soup is about the best in the land. Why then are you rejecting the same soup? I know you are one of the credible men of Idu. I want to be in your good books. Look woman, I have no books. I am just a noble man of Idu who only eats what he knows. I am trying to relieve you of your pain. I know the pain you harbor in your heart. This food will ease your pains. Eat. No. No. Stop it. I don't want it. You cannot relieve my pains. Nobody will. Nobody can. Is anybody in? It was a dream all along. Abodi, are you in? Yes, I'm here. Who is it? Oh. Oui. It is you. Yes. Um, Sorry, I um, I dozed off. <laughs> I was half asleep. Oh, I'm sorry if I woke you up. No, I'm glad you did. <laughs> you are? Yes, yes, I am. I mean, what responsible man sleeps by this time of the day? <sighs> Thank you. Why? Why are you? Why are you here? Oh, yes. Yes, food. Wine was sent me with your breakfast, and she said I must ensure you eat it before I return back the basket. No. This should better be a coincidence. After that dream, and now this. <sighs> Let me get you drinking water, okay? We shared same thoughts. Shared? Uh -huh. That explains it. What is your problem? Trying to create unnecessary problem. That is your problem. She poses no threat to anyone. So let's let the matter rest. Oh, really? I'm sorry I kept you waiting. Did I interrupt anything? Did Yamaka here doesn't see anything wrong with the presence of that strange woman? Please, let's leave. We're really late. Are you not going to say anything? According to my father, the period of having no king is extremely delicate for any kingdom. Hence, we have to be very careful. Uh -huh. You make no sense, you know that. Don't if, you? If that woman is bad, don't you think our men will suffer? Oh. Don't you think so? It's okay. I will not discuss this with either of you again. It's alright. Please leave now, we're really late. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
It was um, delicious, as expected. I am glad. Thank you for honoring my call. Even if you didn't send for me, I'll still come back. But now you've called. <laughs> I know you didn't just call me. I know you have another reason. Not just for me to come and eat. You are a very intelligent man. The reason I'm drawn to you. You're drawn to me? Do not jump into conclusions yet. You were the first to welcome me and you laid a good foundation for others when you paid for their food. And that I am grateful for. Your friends? Uh, uh, no, they are more like sisters to me. So, why did you call me? You are lying to yourself. I am not, okay? Yes, you are. You can't even admit it, but that is all you have been doing lately. Lie to yourself. I didn't have to greet Ndoka. He is your man. He is going to marry you. He is the reason you make this trip every other day. Marry me. Okay. But you're not yet married. And until then, he has his life to live. Wait a minute. What exactly is huh? Her mom spends the whole day with that strange woman. And she pretends to be okay with it. What was I supposed to do? Go drag him out. Ask her. Ha. Fine. I won't mention this again. I won't even bring it up with either of you. My mother told me his family helped us as refugees. But we didn't have the chance to help them back. See, the family you're talking about still have few members living. But I still believe that the family that helped your generation are no more. It doesn't matter. I, I only need to appreciate them. Anyone in that family will do. It doesn't stop you from anything. As you can see, my people are welcoming. I need help locating them. Now I see why you invited me here. Yes. I want you to help me locate them. Maybe see if you can bring the eldest amongst them. Please. Bonan. Bonan is the eldest. <gasps> And I hope you have him to tell you about your future. Yes, yes, I can't wait to see him. I have a gift for him. You will have to give him the gift before you bring him. Mm. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Not to worry, I will bring you some more. I cannot believe you made me eat the food with you. Look at you. 
deny that you did not enjoy it. Of course I did. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that why you could not find it funny. And who said she has to know? Is that a promise? Well, I am a man of very few words. My lips are sealed forever. Thank you. I have to get going now. I've spent much time with you, you know. Okay, um, I'll, I'll see you off. You can't even wait to see me gone. Ah. Uh, says who? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, I, I really feel very bad for keeping you longer than you plan to stay. So, fine, I'll sit. Oh, no, 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 don't worry. See me up first and then you can come and sit. Okay, that's, that's all I do. <laughs> sit, <laughs> sit some more. Don't say that. <laughs> Are you going to open that or you need help with it? I heard about the arrival of a certain woman. But little do I know that I have this kind of connection with her. And what is it that they say this time around? Eh? It's a small world though. Indeed. Eh, eh, you know, it's good to be good. Because if our people were not good with Okita and the family, she wouldn't have come back with her delicious meals. Look, uh, little things marvel you. What is so special about her food anyway? I hope she is not adding some kind of portion in her food. Uh -uh. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> you know, enemies are everywhere. Enemies. Keep our kingdom where it is today. We need to be careful. Uh, are you going to open that or because I know how I fought temptation of opening that on my way. So are you going to open it? What was that for? Mogi, eh? please, don't play this kind of game with me anymore. Uh, don't. It's very risky. I almost unleash a heavy blow on your face. Gion. Indukabiko. Biko, what I saw right now was you almost jumping out of your skin. See, there's a heavy tension in the land. And it's very risky you sneaking up on me. Please. That's don't try it. exactly why I'm here. Because of the tension. <laughs> you chose the wrong venue. I am sorry. I've been looking for you. I have been searching for you all over the place. Until some people told me they saw you entering one and his compound. So I decided to wait for you here. See, Mugi, you know how jealous your man, Unyo Melonando, can be. Please, I still want to be alive. I'm okay. Ndoka! 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 I, 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 I don't understand why I'm, I'm, I'm standing here taking this risk, discussing with you on the road. Ndoka, talking to me is not risky at all. But entrusting your life in the hands of a stranger is. Yeah? Pardon? I am talking about the woman you have been patronizing. I don't know what you're talking about. Indeed, Yamaka is the only woman in my life. And I'm not even patronizing her yet. Don't play dumb with me, Nduka. I saw you. I saw you earlier today when you were going there to... Oh! Eh? <laughs> okay, Te. Why your money is here? Oh! <laughs> hmm. What do you know about her? She's the best cook in this town. Especially Onubu soup. That is all there is to know 
about her. Really? Yes. And two, she's not a stranger, mind you. She lived here in this town with her family when she was younger. Mm. Well then, you seem to know so much about her, so tell me, what does she want here? Doesn't your father know the answer to this question? Of course he does. Come on, Yoma. Hello. Does the presence of a maiden make you uncomfortable? No. Far from it. Onyinye is a good maiden, and um, I can even, I can spend a whole day with her. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm just trying to say Onyinye that... Onyinye uh, is an orphan. She has been living with us ever since her parents died. She has no blood relationship with us. Is that so? I can see how relieved you are to know that she's not our blood relation. <laughs> no, why? <laughs> hmm. See, you need to make yourself happy, no matter what happened back at it. You are surrounded now by people who truly care for you. And always remember, eventually, you will go back home to your people and make your own family. Meanwhile, you have to make a living for yourself while you are here. Before you go back home, whenever that will be. But please, come on. Let's go. The workers must be waiting. I was with Ndidi Amaka and Chinoshu. After you came back from? Where is my father? He left already. Has my father said anything about that strange woman? Which strange woman? Yeah? Stay in the house. I'm running late for women's uh, evening meetings. Stay in the house. I'm coming. Mama, eh, I'm coming back now. Why is it anybody? I know that Opala Ma's wife is a good cook. But I want to ask him a question. Uh -huh. Ever since you got married to your wife, has she ever given you such great food before? <laughs> you are very right. I cannot deny it. She has never. Opala Ma. Your wife will be so disappointed in you if she hears this. <laughs> I'm sure all of you here will say the same thing concerning your wife's food. Yes, okay, right. it's surely a coup from the gods. You're <laughs> 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 
What is that look on your face? Ndoka. These are practically all the responsible men in our kingdom. Yes. Are you shocked they discovered her before the Almighty is here? What are they doing here? <laughs> Eating here? It's the head of married men don't do this kind of a thing. Well, you and I are not married. So, let's go. Shall we? <laughs> we can see the testimony written all over you. Your grey hair that used to be very <laughs> brown before is gradually turning to white. Why? <laughs> hey, what about you? Look at your tummy. It's bulging out by the day. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. She has seen you. Are you coming with me? Okay, you are wonderful. Okay, where is my old food now? Let's go now. Bonani. Well, if you're going to continue standing here, I will not. No looking at those men. I don't trust them. I can tell them that they are here to finish all the food. What should I do? Keep smiling. Maybe you start with your smile. <laughs> yes, smile, smile. I shall be with you soon. Hold up and bring my. Okay, this You came with him? Yes. I always do what I promise. <laughs> Welcome, Unai. Did you get my present? Uh, uh, yes. Yes, uh, I did. That is why I am here. I say thank you. Please come with me. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Just come there. Smile. 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 You do not know how helpful you've been to me. You will benefit a lot as time goes on. And my people, what is there for them to benefit? I do not understand. A lot of us, especially the maidens, they have your concern over your arrival. They are worried because some believe that you have an ulterior motive for coming. <clears throat> well, do you also believe that? I want to trust you. I am connected to you. But what of Monani? What about him? It seems you're doing everything to gain his trust. You made him a gift. I saw how you treated him today. Or are you finally going to allow him into the woman in you? <laughs> because it, 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 it seems I, I, I was a fool making myself the bearer of your message to him. You were my first contact here. You welcomed me with love. As for Bonani, I told you already why I made him the gift. I am done with him. You will be the only close friend I will have here. 
And like I said earlier, you will benefit a lot from being friends with me. I need to experience not only your food. I need to grace the main thing. When will that be? And what is going on in this head of yours? Hmm? Like I said earlier, you are my friend. So erase whatever ideas you're having in there. I'm... I'm sorry if I embarrassed you with what I said. No. It's okay. I'm not embarrassed. But you look like you are. I'm sorry, okay? I mean, the last thing I want to do is make someone like you feel uncomfortable. Abodiki, stop talking. I feel the same way about you. I mean, which medium would not want to fall in love with you? You know, you are the first maiden that I have allowed myself to love. I'm just an orphan. You are royalty. Someday you would return to your people. You know, I always tell people to to live each day as it comes. Can we do the same with our relationship? You are not just good looking. You are a man of great wisdom. I really appreciate you and I will always do, always. Nine. Through the powers you gave me, I've shut the eyes of the seer towards me. It was my greatest concern, but now I feel relaxed. Now you have no excuse to hand. You are free to leave among them. And do we day whatever we wish. We must work together to make your king happy. I know he is worth every sacrifice. Please guide me more. Time is all that we need. You have a good time. But it will take the time. Before the effect of what they eat from your hands takes over the head. For how long? Until they desire a king to rule them. At that time, they will have been too weak to resist Ezra Majah. All of them just keep on spreading. I am with you all the time. My king, please pardon me. I feel left out. I know I am under oath never to betray you. You dare not. Y yes, my king. But please, I want to find out why is Ugo in Udu kingdom? Am I no longer the Revadez and Pajaka of Abanabo? My king, who is contesting that with you? You are the king of kings. You are the head of all principalities in all our kingdom. Oh, my king. I we must reverence you. Um, but my king, why is you go there? Nani, you say you bang listen. It may be long in the eyes of the ordinary, but in the eyes of Ezembajeka of Abanabo, it is just like tomorrow. 
I am out to correct the blunders of our fathers. Hmm. They granted you do independence in error. Hmm. I do not believe in that independence. I am going to annex it back into this kingdom. Udogu. On that note, hmm. Ugo is there in it too. As okay there of Ibuwe Titi, hmm. cooking their souls back into this land. Odogu. Listen, hmm. Ibu hmm. It will happen soon. I mean, very soon. It's in DZ. Hey! Odogu. Odogu. Oh. Odogu. Oh. Yeah, this will look. <laughs> I nurtured you to be brave. I nurtured you to be a ruler. I nurtured you to be a man that everyone will welcome with. Is that what you are doing here, lying down? You have wasted away all these years. I ask you, is this the end for you, my son? been happening occasionally in the past two years but has become more frequent recently I hear him I see him speak to me but doesn't look like doesn't look like I'm dreaming your father was a great man and I am certain he's still powerful in the spirit world So what does he want me to do? Even the enemy knows that you have a place amongst your people of Idu. It is possible your father wants you to go back and take that place. Uncle, you're, I'm sure you're joking. You can't be serious. The so-called people, my people, do not even want me. It has been five years since I have been here and no one, not even one single person has come to look for me. You can never be who you are created to be outside your roots. Here, this, this is also my roots. Yes, we are your people, but here is not your. You must return someday. It is possible that the time is now. You are a man now, Agodike. Five years' experience is mercy. You may need to give your father's visit a serious thought. Stupid man like you. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Why should I be ashamed of myself? Why? Why does that come? And I hope everyone is chosen to be able to have a good Simply because I opted to eat good food instead of the poison you served me. You call my food poison? Yes! You call my food poison? Of course, yes! Let me remind you. I have fed you the same poison for 28 years. And you never lost your senses, have you? And if this is how it feels to lose one's senses, I want to tell you I am fine with it. I 
I'm fine with it. Go ahead and make yourself more useless. Because you're a useless man. And I will stop. The day you learn to cook half the way she does. Let me tell you, in case you don't know. Okay, Tofu, you boy, Titi, is a cook with the word of the gods. Well, come on, 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 come you will eat and get satisfied in way big tummy. Useless man. What is the problem? Five years. Ndoka, five years after my visit to Boba, what is happening to us? I don't know. You know, I have been patient all these years because I believe in you. But I'm tired of my man treating me like I'm non-existent. Then as you can see, the whole thing is not working out. Why don't we tell ourselves the truth? Why do you think we are not meant to be? Because of her? Okay, Tse. Oh, you know, I grew worried when I discovered how close you became with her. But you promised me it was nothing. Anyway, I don't have time for this, your big headache this morning. Hmm? Just go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Maybe she's the one meant for you. You can't be like her. Why are you jealous? Jealous of what? And why should I be jealous? Then, why are you stopping me from going to her place to eat bitterly soup? Like never have seen any do. You lousy women of you do can't even cook good food. Why deny us the opportunity to eat one? Why? We good women of Idu can't cook good food. Is that what you're saying? That is no news. We all know. Uh -huh. Even your daughter here knows that Oki Tewani, Igwe Titi cooks better than you do. Papa, is this about Oki again? Papa, is there no morning we can wake up to some peace in this house? Because your mother here has refused to allow peace reign. Papa, I stand with Mama on this. Yes. Huh? The way you're going about this woman's food is so annoying. I am sorry. If you have gotten a man to marry you, you wouldn't have been here for me to annoy you. But I was coming to be with you. I'm going out. Can't you see that? I no longer stay in my parents' household. My father and my mother will not quit fighting over that woman. I... What was that for? As you can see, I am a bachelor. I cannot cook all the time. I must eat anyway. I must eat. I will cook for you. Whatever you want, just name it, I will cook it. No! You cannot cook like her. There's no one in town of the Idu kingdom that can like, cook anything like that. Not even you. Did you just say that? I mean every word of it. Go home. Or better still, stay here if you want to. Excuse me. 
to stop it. But no. Nobody was concerned enough to listen to me. How was anyone supposed to understand that something like this was going to happen? How? Almost all the homes in the kingdom lack peace because of her. Our parents fight all the time because of her. Our parents? Why go that far? Look at us. Look at us. The three of us went to Ugwoba together in preparation for our marriages. It has been five years. Five years after. And what is the story? Tell me, what is the story? Luka has practically become Okite's wife. He has to even set eyes on me. No. I think I discuss him. Yes, I do. And you, Chinonso, why are you still in your parents' house? Where is Azubike? The man that once worshipped the very ground you walked upon. Where is he? I have lost his heart to the same Okite. And to add salt to injury. My own father insults me because I am yet to be married at my age. I guess that is our fate. If we could do nothing when we possibly could, if we could do nothing when we were skeptical about her, what can we possibly do now that they all love her? I think there's still something we can do. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's still hope. Maybe we could bring this to an end. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. But you will have to do that on your own. I'm okay. Wow, what do you want? It is five years since she moved in there and the king is shutting us out. Are you not bothered? I'm not. Because the king is not shutting us out. Anyway, he's not shutting me out. So, if the king is not shutting you out, do you mind sharing with me what is going on? I mean, what is she doing there? Wow. Some information don't come that cheap. Look at this, Ibago. Ilaila, Ilaila, Ilaila. Look at this, Ijago. Ilaila, Ilaila, Ilaila. When you open up, I'll be back. Ilaila, Ilaila, Ilaila. Nearly by the Siaka. Ilaila, Ilaila. This is not the way you wanted it. They should come for you. I know. But Uga Malunam, who thinks I should go? 
You are an adult. You should make your own decisions. I've lost touch with my people. If I wish to regain my position someday, I should keep in touch with my people. If you must get your position back, are you finally interested in the position? I thought you said it does not matter. We, we've known each other for, for about five years now. Don't you think it's time we built a, a more meaningful relationship together? I was told to live for the moment by you. And yes, I would love to build a more meaningful relationship with you. But I don't believe it depends on you going back to Idu. Maybe it does. Maybe, maybe the reason you and I are not yet married is it's because I still live here. Just maybe. I thought I made myself clear the other time. This is our fight. <laughs> this fight, if there is any, is for the men. The men, you say. The same men that have lost their minds to her. Well, perhaps if anybody had listened to me earlier on, our men wouldn't have lost their minds. Oh. Greetings, Nai. We are all affected in this. We will never have our men back if we don't take this step. Mm -hmm. Please, think about this. If it makes you change your mind, meet us at the square at sunrise tomorrow. Amogi, listen to me. You cannot separate yourself from this. I already have. Don't expect me tomorrow. Bangusi, what is funny about this? What is not so funny about it? But wait, what is so interesting in this that you, you, you wish to give away that thing you love most? Eh? At least, I, 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 I give it away, you have it. I lose, you gain. The most important thing is that someone gains. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. That, that sight, that sight is wonderful. That piece of land is your life. Yes, I liked it, but... I, I, now, you have it. Yes. Let us do the exchange. You give me your piece of land inside the bush. Then I give you mine by the roadside. Just tell me what I need to know. Yeah, yes. You seem so serious. Very serious. Are you sure you don't want me to come with you? No, I don't. I'll be fine. It's a long journey. You need company. Hmm? I came here all alone. Remember?
Listen. I'm only going to to check out the land to see what it looks like. It's been a long time. But I will come back to you soon. As you can see, I do not even have any luggage. Take care of yourself for me. Okay? I will. Good. Go. I'm not disappointed to see you here. I knew you would come. I knew I couldn't do it. I'm so happy you made it at last. You're welcome. What's the plan? Very simple. Idu is the only land we can call ours. And it is written boldly on the wall that our men have lost it. So it is our duty to fight for our men. Have I spoken your minds? Yes. It may not be a fight in the real sense of the word. But we need to make a statement that will go far into the land. Exactly. The maidens are ready. Yes, yes we, we are, are ready. ready. And we cannot stop them now. Where is she? Okite or whatever it is you're called. Come out and face us. Where is Okite? He's not in the house. Come out and face us. Show your face. We are here to see you. Okite. There she is. Come, 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 come. Come. Look who we have here. The maidens of Idu Kingdom. I'm glad you can recognize us. Of course she should. After all, she dies and whines with our men. By the way, I am Ndoka's woman. Oh, Ndoka. Oh, Ndoka, such a generous young man. Generous with what exactly? You know Azubike, right? Right? He is my man. Yes. Onyo Melonando is my man. Nse Umozo is my father. And all these maidens here have one thing or the other in common with you. Yes. yes. It is either their men or their fathers. I see. So what brings you here? <laughs> um, let's say... We have come to eat from your wonderful pot as well. And have the taste of what our men die for. Yes. I am sorry, for it's rather too early to serve you food. No problem. We can wait. Yes, yes. we can too wait. Early. Yes. <clears throat> then it has to be a long wait then. 
from Buve the Hunter is yet to supply me with the meat and save yourself the explanation, for we do not mind at all. Or do we? No! You heard them. Calm down. We are here for you today. Mm -hmm. All day we'll be here. Mm -hmm. We wish to have all of which you have been feeding our men with all these years. Go and bring it. Except you want to tell us that the food you cook is only for the men. Pity. For I do not have any food for you poor maidens. Ah! What? Maybe next time. Really? And you may leave now. <laughs> Stop there. You have no right to walk out or not. And we we'll leave when we want to. Yes. yes. This is our land. Remember? What exactly do you want? What is my own with you? My friend, go and cook. Go and start cooking now. Eat it off you wait till your whatever it is you are called. You must cook today. Yes. Go and cook. Do kingdom, my land of peace and my place of fortune. It is indeed good to step foot on you again. Why we have scattered your stupid useless soup? This is exactly what your useless presence has done to us. The same way it scattered our arrangement we already have in place with our men. Red. <laughs> Are you losing your mind? <sighs> because this is exactly how we have lost our positions in the lives of our men. Yes. Same way our mothers have lost their position with our fathers. Oh yes. Are you maidens testing my patience? Shh. Shut that, your stupid cut a cord man. You are very stupid to sell this to our family. Indeed. What will they do to us? Fight off? Bring it on! Bring it! Why do we have to waste more time with this liar? Did you not say you had no food? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You said that Mbu said the hunter was yet to bring you dry meat. Mm -hmm. Now look at it. Look at it. We have wasted all that you have. What can you do? What? <laughs> Go ahead and scream. Scream some more. 
I know what it feels like to lose what you value there. Scream! Give out more screams! Scream! Oh, scream. scream. Oh, 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 oh. Madness, let's go! So grown up and you look good. Thank you. <laughs> what? All these years, I never believed you could abandon your people. Your own people. My own people, you say. <laughs> Who is she? Someone you shouldn't know. Someone the maidens of Idu land would never allow you to meet. Yeah. But but I, I think I know her. You don't. I've, I've seen her face. Trust before. me, you don't. You don't. Welcome back. Come Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Look at you. <laughs> isn't good at all. And I haven't seen him since I arrived. <sighs> just, just when I thought I was getting so close. They can't stop me. They can't. Me. They can't stop me. <laughs> that is what our land has turned into since you left. Our men have lost all that it is that makes them men. Yes, five years is a long time. But not enough for this kind of mess. <laughs> what do you expect? What do you expect from a land that has no king? You are part of this problem. What? <laughs> How can you say that? How can you link me with this? I am linking you to it because there is no other option to link it to. Yes! You left. I was very convinced. I was very sure it was you, the gods of our land, wanted to be our king. But what did you do? You ran away. Oh, come on, Amoge. Don't. Please. Do not twist this and make me start regretting my actions. I did not run away. I did what was right. What was right? One. See where your right has landed us. Look, I do not see how anyone can blame me for all this that is happening. I don't. So. 
Why did you come back? Why are you asking for this? Because I know what I want. Look how they humiliated me. Is that okay with you? Do not lose focus. You are not here for the demands. Change of plans. I wish to keep them away from me. They have started and I know they won't stop. And you want to kill them? In the easiest way, yes! Please, do not say no. Please, do not abandon me now. Give me what I wish for. I wish to crush those maidens. Just, just, just grant me this, please. As a Mojaka, I did not ask for any life. So I will do no such thing. Forget about the maidens. Focus on the men. Get to them. Like you already started. When all their minds are in our hands, you will find out that the minutes are not endure for a while. Are you referring to me? You must be the leader of those stupid maidens that went to destroy her place. You have already gone to her this early. Huh? And she has already briefed you and here you are, shouting at me. Without even asking me to equally brief you. Shame. What is it? I am not surprised. I am not surprised. You always make her lose her senses each time you are around. And I'm convinced that it is because of you that she did what she did. Di because of me she did what? I don't understand. We had peace when you were gone. And now you've stepped in only to cause, only to cause these stupid madness to attack an innocent woman. Leave Apodike out of this. He knows nothing about it. Why should I leave her body out of it? I would leave him out of it! He gets into your head and he makes you lose your mind each time he's around you. Was he not the one that is the cause of the problem you always had with Onyo Melanando? Was he not the one? Isn't he the reason you were selling my house, wasting my resources? Listen, I'm okay. By now you should be in Onyo Melanando's house as his wife. Moge, please, it's obvious I have to leave now. I knew it was a bad idea coming here in the first place. I shouldn't have come here. Bodike, please don't listen to my father. He has lost his mind. I was telling you about that, remember? Still, I have to leave. I have to. Let him go. Let him go. We don't need him. Listen, he has lost his place forever. And did you actually tell him I lost my mind? No, no, no. I'm okay. Did you? I wanted you to understand that the maidens of Idu acted this on their own. And we will not allow this to happen. Again. No, it won't because I'm already leaving. You're leaving? Are you that weak? You're leaving the land of Idu because of the maidens? Oh, do not allow another person to hear this. Look, I have no choice. I came in peace. The only crime I committed was making good food. Is it my fault that the women here do not know how to cook? Then the gods, you just nailed it. 
The gods brought you in this land because our women do not know how to cook. We all depend on your food. If you leave now, what do we do? You do not know much about this. So please do not bring in the gods into this. What about me? Let us leave the men aside. You said I mean a lot to you. I'm always there for you. Will you abandon me too over the women we have control over? What, what are we going to do? I'm scared. They threatened to come back for me. Okay. I promise you here and now that they will not. I, Nduka, I will take care of them. I will take care of everything. Pour us in this cup. You want me to take this? If you don't want to eat it, you can squeeze it into your mouth, drink, however you want it. 